Welcome to the world in two minutes. These are your headlines. Leaders from Turkey and the EU are meeting on Monday to try to solve the refugee crisis. The bloc has agreed to give Ankara $3.3 billion to curb the flow of asylum seekers into Europe. More than one million of them crossed into Europe last year. Turkey has taken in close to three million refugees, most of them fleeing the war in Syria. Nearly 2,000 asylum seekers arrive in Greece from Turkey every day. The president of the European Council, Donald Tusk, says Turkey is willing to take in those who are intercepted in Turkish waters. The interior ministers of Hungary and Croatia say they will reopen three railway border crossings. The crossings have been closed since the middle of 2015 because of the refugee crisis. Hungary's state agency, MTI, did not say when and under what conditions the crossings would reopen. The three crossings have been the main entry points into Hungary for refugees seeking asylum in Germany. In order to stem the influx, Hungary built a fence on its southern border with Serbia and Croatia late last year. Slovak President Andrej Kiska says he will ask Prime Minister Robert Fico and his smear party to try to form a government. Despite winning the most votes in Saturday's general elections, the leftist party lost its parliamentary majority. Anti-establishment and right-wing factions, including a neo-Nazi party, increased their votes. The Prime Minister has 30 days to negotiate a coalition government. The man who invented email and selected the at symbol to use in addresses has died. Ray Tomlinson was working for Bolt, Berenek and Newman, now Raytheon BBN Technologies, when he came up with a way for people to send messages to each other using ARPANET, the precursor to the internet. That was in 1971, decades before email became part of modern life. Tomlinson died on Saturday at the age of 74. Thanks for watching. TRTWorld.com, Istanbul.